Brian, and uh, beforehand I had asked several folks to uh, assist me with tonight's reading. Um, I'm going to simply read the process note from this book, and um, while I'm reading, as folks who I had spoken with earlier want to simply assemble themselves here, that would be wonderful. Um, and you can just walk up at any point. <laughs> from January of 2008 to September of 2009, I read only page 26 of nearly 10,000 books at the Denver Public Library, culling from them bits of language, which I then fused together, altering some nouns to read the source, so they became reflective of the parameters of the project. At its core, the book is a prose cento, a continuation of a practice dating from the Homeric song stitchers of antiquity to current trends in hip-hop culture and electronic music. However, it's also a testament to the interconnectedness and mutability of all writing, as well as an exploration of the notions of origins, both textual and spiritual. The choice of page 26, while obviously corresponding to the amount of letters present in the English alphabet, is also important in Kabbalist terms. It represents the numerical value of the Tetragrammaton, the four Hebrew letters that form the name of God. Additionally, according to the Talmud, the Torah would have been revealed during the 26th generation of the history of the world. Thus it is Moses, who 26 generations after Adam received the Torah transmitted by God. Interestingly, by using a correspondence table where each letter is given in ascending order a numerical value, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, etc. The name of God in English has a total value G equals 7, O equals 15, D equals 4, D equals 6. The problem of numerality aside, I undertook this project in order to investigate whether or not in straight case conceptual writing might have a spiritual dimension. It is now my belief that I'm going to spend a moment in my is send them to their own senses. And even the most far any other trade on these things Or lake to let the familiar and 
Thank you.